Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Cancer, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Cancer. Okay, so we have the star and this is Aquarius energy. So this is a card of healing. This is a card of restoration. It does look like there could be someone here who's longing for you. They, there's this desire to reconnect, to heal the situation and to restore the connection. Um, there's this hopeful energy. They, they're, staying, they're trying to stay optimistic in the situation. They are seeing you though as someone who's a bit out of reach right now. So you could be at a distance or there could just be some sort of space or time between you guys. But they are really looking at you as someone that they are wishing to be with. They really are wanting to get closer to you. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands, Fire Energy. The Seven of Swords, Air Energy. And the Judgment card, Scorpio Energy. So this is someone who is showing up as someone who you could have went back and forth with this person. They could have been an on and off type of situation here. Um, with the Knight of Wands, there's a lot of passion, chemistry, attraction. Um, but at the same time, it's like this is a connection that never really got to ground or it's, it's really difficult to ground this connection. It's very intense. And someone could also have issues with commitments. They, there's this feeling of being good at initiating things, starting things, but not really being able to follow through in some way. And this person could be in and out of your life. This could this connection could be on and off. With the Seven of Swords, there's this, this energy of, you know, you could even view this person as someone you don't really trust. Or you could feel like you and this person are not um, very open with each other right now. Um, but this person is trying to come towards you. They're being strategic, though. They, there's this feeling of wanting to approach you with the intention of having some sort of a second chance with the Judgment card here. Um, this person is wanting to give you some sort of answers or truth here. Yeah, there's this desire to get, um, give you some sort of answer so that you can transform the connection. Um, but there is this feeling of they need to be strategic about how they do it because right now they are viewing you as um, kind of out of reach, you know, untouchable in some way. So this person will come towards you, but I do see them doing things a bit differently this time around and it's because they're trying to be strategic. So let's clarify these cards, Cancer. Okay, so we have the Ace of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So their goal here is to have some sort of romantic start with you. They are actually having deep feelings for you. It's overflowing. This is someone who wants to be in a loving connection with you. They want to have some sort of romantic beginning with you. So let's see. Okay, we have the Chariot, Cancer Energy, the Seven of Wands, Fire Energy, and the Sun, Leo Energy. So this is someone who wants to fight for you. This is someone who's determined to have you, to have success with you. Um, with the chariot, there's this feeling of willing to move mountains just to get to you. This person wants to be closer with you. They really are longing for you. Um, they want to move this connection forward. There's this feeling of wanting to bring clarity to the situation as well with the sun and the judgment card. They want to give you some sort of truth with the intention of having a new beginning. This is someone who does see you as a healing um, person in their life. They see you as someone who, when they are with you, they feel good about themselves. They feel optimistic. They feel encouraged. They feel hopeful. And they enjoy having you in their life. They feel like you're a source of light. You're good energy. And you're someone worth fighting for. But that seven of wands, it looks like they, they're really going to try to push for this connection. And with the chariot, there's this feeling of 
no matter what it takes they want this no matter what okay so this person is going to be very strategic and it looks like even very persistent okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you cancer Okay, so we have you and your loved ones are safe new moon in cancer okay so they they genuinely have um a lot of emotions and affection and care for you here um they want to save this connection they feel very protective over the connection um but this person could struggle with grounding the connection but they know what they want okay so i'm gonna put another card for you So we have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Okay, so it could be some sort of history you have with this person that needs to be kind of worked through um, in order for things to heal or to have that new beginning if you want it. Um, there's something about needing to address the past here and needing to kind of release any heavy energy here. Needing to be open with each other and vulnerable. Okay, so I'm going to put another card to you. So we have domestic happiness and devoted affection. I will win thee in my arms. So doth the woodbine, the honeysuckle, gently in twist. So they do want to be in a relationship with you. They see you as someone who is like um, stable. There's something secure about you. There's um, like they are seeing you with a lot of that cancer energy, like your nurturing type or your emotional, emotionally available or affectionate and they are very drawn towards this they like how you love or how you show up for them in that emotional um sense okay so i'm gonna pull out a card for you uh for your advice cancer have surrendered to inner peace cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet meditative moments focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily okay so that's what i'm seeing for you cancer i hope you have a really really good day cancer bye cancer